a simple demo video process, uh, and this is actually courtesy of CartoonMedia.com. It's basically a, a step-by-step workflow of how they create, say, cartoons for their for their clients. And this is very similar to what Miguel would do in regards to uh, animation. And so what we're going to do, um, this is really nice, and I thought I'd share it with you guys because it's a very great visual of how the demo pro- video process works uh, these days. But I want to go through kind of a tedious step-by-step process here in the next slide. And that would be how myself and Miguel do our videos and how it works currently. Okay. Oh. So we're going to talk a bit about the animation video steps. First and foremost, defining the concept. Um, yeah. So can you speak to that, Miguel? Uh, yeah. So this is where usually this happens. In the, there's two ways that this, this, this can happen, or a combination of two ways. Uh, this, the, a typical one is we send the client a project project brief form that asks them uh, very specific questions about their target audience, uh, defining their product in as, as little time as possible, like in a few words, um, and also it's just to have a, an overall idea, right, of what they do. So they fill that form, and then usually with that, we get into a phone call where we try to distill the essence of that product as well by talking to the client. Right, just to see right. what their expectations are, learning more about their industry, uh, really getting you know inside the their customers' shoes, just to understand what what would they understand, what kind of language we should use, etc. Right. So once we have that understanding, that's when we move to the to the script. Yeah. Got it. Okay, and then from there, a script is basically um, written words on a piece of paper that. To tell you how. Yeah, so there is the typical script that we do is it's just um, like I say we 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 have like a checklist which is make sure that it's not longer than if it's 60 seconds make sure it's not longer than 200 words uh, and make sure that there is three sections which is the problem the solution and a call to action right inside that so there's some structure to it. Right, and then we, and then make sure that at least there's one smile moment, and sometimes we have what we call the wink moment, which is at the end, right after the back line, and we have something funny happening. Uh, so once we feel that script has all those elements, we send it back to the client as a draft, and then we tell them, you know, this is the what we think would be a, an effective demo video, but obviously maybe we got something wrong, maybe we don't want to misrepresent your brand, maybe we just said something that was not right, uh, and then they come back, it's like, okay, could you change this and this? And this process goes on for typically may, maybe three, four revisions until we're like, both the client and us think, okay, we, we reached a compromise, and we can move on to the next step, which is storyboard. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. Okay. And then from there, the storyboard itself is basically, I mean, it's basically what you just said. It's it's a it's a it's yeah. visual. Yeah. On the storyboard, for each line of the script, we have a visual representation, a simplified visual representation of what's going to be animated once we take this into a production. Right. That right. way, the the client can visualize what we're envisioning. It's going to happen in the animation. Uh, and then they can also say, well, maybe instead of a woman character, we want a, we want a male character. Maybe we want a dog, or we want this house to look more like an industrial warehouse, or you know, just little details that you know that they you know, we so we again reach a compromise on what the final visuals are going to be. Right. Sometimes on the script, uh, in brackets, we we if we feel strongly about a visual, we would put in brackets in the script. And here, show this, or or the client would say the same thing. Just because once what we do is give the script to the animator. So the more information the animator has in advance, the easier it is for the animator to start doing the storyboard. Sometimes we just tell, give them the script, and they're like, okay, just run with it, do whatever you want, and then we'll uh, figure out if that works or not. Uh, but uh, the storyboard is just basically like a series of shots that that describe what's going to be seen on the video. Yeah, correct. And so ultimately, this is and again, guys, the reason we're going through all of this right now is because this is defining exactly what 
it currently takes to create a demo video. And and I want you guys to understand this because we want you to know that it is very daunting. And what we do uh, every single day is a hell of a process. Um, and just so you guys know, you got to stay tuned because after this, we're going to talk about how you can bypass most of, most of these steps, or mm -hmm. a lot of them, to create an effective video in general. Yeah. So, we're going to move on here. Um, the next one, this is where I come in. If we were to do a live action video together, we would actually end up at the storyboard and from there it would take the route of location scouting, finding a place to shoot your video, whether it be at your office or you know at, at somebody's production set, hiring a video crew if you don't have one, and then actually shooting that video. Um, that in itself is a long, long process too. So we're already, uh, mentally, it's already about two, three weeks into the process of creating a video. Yeah, um, and we're illustrating this again because we said we could help you guys learn how to do a video within 30 minutes, not two weeks. So <laughs> understand the length, and then uh, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, well, there there is more. I mean, if, if you get into it, like you sometimes you have to do casting, then you have to yeah. do props, then you have to dress the locations, you have to get permits sometimes. I mean, it, it's is live action video if you do it like. You know, like professionally, uh, it's a lot of work. It's right. Insane. Yeah. Perfect. So that's that's why we have this as well. We have <laughs> once yeah. that's all done, we have hiring the voiceover, beginning yeah. the animation, editing. That alone is the the bulk and the meat of it. Putting, yeah. you know, becoming the maestro of the of the whole event of the whole creation. It's yeah. Part of God with the story. Yeah. Right. Choosing music, revising, editing, animations. Um, or the, the or the production, and then of course rendering out the final product. Yeah. Wow. So for those of you still with us, we know that's a boring, tedious process, but this is what Miguel and I live and breathe every day. So we figured we'd showcase it. Yeah. But we know it's really long. <laughs> it's a long, long process. Is boring. Well, it's not actually that boring. Some parts are really fun. <laughs> yes, definitely. I know. I know. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's why I've dedicated my life to it, and so have you. But yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. For the general, you know, business owner who's trying to get a story done. No, if you want to do it yourself, definitely that's extremely tedious. Yeah. Yeah. Again, guys, this is Miguel Hernandez. Follow him on Twitter at Grumo Mix. Yeah, Grumo Mix or Grumo Media. Add Grumo Media too. It's also a, a handle I have. So yeah, either yeah. Perfect. Uh, and again, guys, I'm John Acosta. For those of you who don't know me, I run the Content Creators Lounge. We teach people how to uh, do effective video production, live video, as well as video marketing. So if you guys want to check us out there, contentcreatorslounge.com, uh, we have some pretty cool content there too.